Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, please make sure to subscribe and hit that post notification so that way you know when I upload a new video and you can see more of my content. But before we get into the video, I quickly wanted to address the title and all that. As you can tell by the title, today we're going to be talking about the cabbage soup diet and how I lost six pounds in one week. Yes, you guys, one week. So I'm actually filming this video after I've done the diet. So little little teaser, it does work. But I really wanted to come on here before the video starts to kind of talk about why I personally did the diet and um, you know, reasoning behind it and all that. I know some people who know me personally may, may be thinking like, girl, you do not need to lose weight or whatever. And personally for me, I didn't feel like I needed I mean, I did feel like I needed to lose weight, but to become a healthier me overall, it wasn't necessarily because I was like, oh my God, I'm so fat, or I don't like the way I look. I just wanted to be more confident in my own skin. So that is, of course, the number one reason why I decided to do this diet, but also because I wanted to live a healthy, healthier um, lifestyle. I had been eating really, really bad, and I just felt like overall, like my stomach health and all that was not the best. So I really wanted to try this diet out to kind of cleanse and um, start a new healthy journey basically. So those are the main reasons why I did this diet. Um, but of course also losing the extra weight was a nice plus. Um, I really kind of just wanted to quickly come on here and also read you guys um, what the cabbage soup diet is because some of you guys may be wondering what the heck is this cabbage soup diet. Okay, so it says here the cabbage soup diet is a short, short term weight loss diet. Um, as the name implies, it involves eating large quantities of cabbage soup. Also, FYI, I'm going to include the um, recipe for the cabbage soup somewhere in the screen or in the description box. So if you're wondering what it contains, just go ahead and check the description box. <clears throat> Okay, so the cabbage soup diet is a rapid weight loss diet. It, its proponents claim that seven days on the diet can lead up to weight loss of up to 10 pounds. The diet works exactly as it impl its name implies. For one week, you eat almost nothing but homemade cabbage soup. Each day, you can have one to two other foods such as milk, fruits, or veggies. So there's kind of like guidelines that you have to go with. Like the first day, you can only eat um, fruits in between your meals. Your meals will be your cabbage soup. You can have an endless amount of cabbage soup throughout the days, but for example, there's certain rules. First day is only fruits. Second day is only veggies in between. Um, and it isn't until like, I think the third or fourth day that you can reintroduce milk into your diet, um, yogurt, and then pretty much by like the sixth day, like the, the day before last, you can reintroduce meat into your diet. So again, this is like a diet that kind of helps cleanse and regulate your stomach and of course, lose weight. Um, the diet is intended to last no longer than seven days for the purpose of slimming down or jump starting a long-term diet plan. I really want to um, emphasize the part where it says jump starting a long-term diet plan because this is not like some fad diet or like a quick solution. The main purpose of this diet is yes, you're gonna lose the weight, but it is to jumpstart a healthy lifestyle after these seven days. This is not a sustainable diet. You do not wanna do it longer than seven days. Here are the daily rules that I was just talking about. So make sure to take a screenshot of this so that way you guys have something to refer to. The cabbage soup diet is also known by other names such as the Sacred Heart Hospital Diet or the Mayo Clinic Diet. Supposedly it was developed in the hospital for quick weight loss before surgery for heart patients. So yeah, again, I just kind of wanted to put that disclaimer out there that this is something that, you know, I feel like should encourage you to start a healthy lifestyle, not necessarily to do it just to lose the weight. So anyways, with all that being said, go ahead and continue watching the video so you can kind of um, see my kind of like daily vlog. I tried to vlog as much as I could each day on like what I was eating, how I was feeling, the weight, you guys will see the weight I was losing every day. But yeah, if you guys are interested to see more of that, then please keep on watching. Thank you. 
veggies, which is the celery, onions, carrots, and I'm sauteing them with oil and garlic. So you're going to go ahead and saute this before you add the uh, chicken broth. And then lastly, you would add the cabbage and tomatoes so those ones don't get like sauteed with it first. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some potato because I was watching a video um, of a lady who did the cabbage soup diet and on like I think day three or four, she ended up making another batch with potato since potato is a vegetable. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some potato just to give it a little bit more, not more flavor, but just to be a little bit different since I don't wanna get tired of the same thing for seven days. So we're gonna chop up some potato. So I just added in the chicken broth. Now you're gonna go ahead and want to put on the heat to high and wait for it to boil. All right guys, so I've added the cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and just stir it in. As you can see, there's way more veggies now, more than the water, but that's good. So we're gonna go ahead and cover that up. So it can get all steamy in there. Can't forget about the basil and oregano. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up one tablespoon of basil and one tablespoon, I'm sorry, one teaspoon, not a tablespoon, one teaspoon of basil and one teaspoon of oregano and throw that into the soup. I just get mine fresh from Sprouts. <laughs> So this is what the soup is looking like. It's been boiling for about, I would say 15 minutes. You wanna wait until the cabbage is kind of soft slash wilted, I guess you could say. But it actually smells really good. So I hope it actually tastes good. But yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. This is before day one. So there you go. We got some smoothies after the gym. It's nothing but um, fruit and veggies and then some carrot juice, so. How do you do, It's very spicy. Oh, this one's spicy too. This one has turmeric in it. Turmeric, carrot juice, mango. What else was it? Carrots. I said carrots already. A couple other um, fruits, so. This counts as fruits and veggies only. I just want to show you guys a little bit of my lunch. Preparation is key. That is sweet potato, chopped up. I packed cucumbers and cherry tomatoes. <laughs> That's empty. That was cabbage soup. Uh, Brussels sprouts Those are literally all snacks and then of course cabbage soup That's kind of like what I do to prepare to, to work with me, so I stay full 
Okay, so I'm on my last day of the cabbage soup diet. Unfortunately, I didn't have any more, so I needed to make a new batch for dinner. But it's okay because I could just have this for like during the week, but not like strictly being just on the cabbage soup diet all day because it is pretty good. So I can just have it like throughout the week. But yeah, so last day today and tomorrow, I will be giving guys updates on numbers, weight and all that good stuff. All right, guys, the moment of truth. All right, guys, what'd you think? Do you believe me? As you see in the video, um, I did lose six pounds i started off at one about 140 and then by the end of the seven days i weighed 134 point something something so yes this diet does work um i'm gonna kind of read why they say that it works and then it's pretty obvious you're not eating a lot of calories is the main number one reason as to why you're losing the weight so your calorie intake is very very low and that is a reason why Obviously, you're losing weight. You're used to, you know, having a bigger calorie intake. Honestly, I want to say for me before this diet, my calorie intake was maybe like 1,800, if that. I don't know. But um, I kind of did some calculations with, you know, some of the veggies and the cabbage. And like one serving, like one little bowl itself was like, I want to say 30 calories. So if you're having that, like, I believe I had it maybe four, three to four times a day, the cabbage soup. And then I would have like the fruits or veggies in between and that itself too is not that many calories. Overall in one day you're probably only having a couple hundred calories. So that is the number one reason why as this as to why this diet works. Also if you're used to eating a lot of bad foods, big foods, this obviously is definitely going to be a huge change for your body because you're eating nothing but like fruits and veggies all day. So you know this is kind of like your body going through the changes and shedding off that extra water weight and all that so basically that is the reason why this diet works now i will say if you're wondering if this is hard it's not the hardest thing to do yes it i will say i was hangry the first couple of days um as my body was kind of adjusting and getting used to it but once i made it past like this i want to say second or third day mark I kind of felt like it was downhill it was easy um i kind of got used to it the cabbage soup itself does taste good for those that are wondering it doesn't taste like gross it's kind of like chicken broth taste um with just it's like a it's like chicken soup with no chicken in, in in some sort of sense um so it tastes good it's not bad i mean obviously after having it seven days all day you're kind of tired of it but this diet is not impossible I recommend if you guys are trying to kickstart a healthy lifestyle, um, if you have an important event to go to in a couple of days and you know you want to lose some extra weight, I recommend it. Um, it just requires some discipline. Do not cheat, okay, guys. That's the number one tip: is do not cheat on this diet. Don't like have like a little bit in between because it won't work. You're not gonna get the full effect of the diet if you cheat on the rules. So I'm gonna leave the the daily rules down below that way you guys can kind of get to um see what you guys are getting yourself into but yeah overall i would definitely recommend i would probably do it again if like i ever um i feel like i need to get my butt in gear again with the healthy eating but um i would definitely do it again also i will say too um i was reading in some articles that they say that you know you're likely to gain the weight back to be honest, that is completely up to you on what you decide after you make the, you know, after you do the diet on what you make of your new, um, you know, the foods you decide to eat and stuff. So I think again, that it's up to you on the discipline that you will continue after you do that. And also too, when you start seeing results, when I was seeing every single day that I was losing 
a pound I was like wow okay this is working like when I'm done with this I need to maintain this you know so definitely um, up to you guys if you're going to maintain that weight and continue and you could even lose even more weight by living a healthy lifestyle going to the gym and eating right so just wanted to throw that in there yeah I hope you guys found this video informative I am no expert at all by all means this was just my experience and how it worked for me so don't take anything that I said in here and go to the doctor with it and say does this work or da 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 I literally just did some research and found videos on YouTube myself and that is what intrigued me into doing this diet but I am by no means an expert um, or a dietitian. Alright guys, that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in to this video and letting me share my thoughts on the cabbage soup diet. Again, all of this was just my experience. I am by no means an expert so don't come for me in the comments if you don't agree with this or this or that or whatever. Again, just my experience try it for yourself if you would like to but yeah if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave some comments and i will talk to you guys in the next one bye